So essentially, a vote of censure is um, a vote of no confidence in a minister of state. Um, vote of no confidence, you know, usually would apply to a prime minister or impeachment in the presidential system of government. But when we talk about a vote of censure, it's a process that applies um, to removing a minister of state in a democratic government. So there is an elaborate process for a vote of censure set out in the 1992 constitution of our country. So if the minority decides to go ahead with their threat of passing a vote of censure when parliament comes back um, in October, what is the process that they have to go through? This is the process clearly set out in Article 82 of the 1992 Constitution. So let me just read that uh, for our hearing. Article 82 of the Constitution reads, Parliament may, uh, by resolution uh, supported by the votes of not less than two-thirds, take note of this, less than two-thirds of all members of Parliament pass a vote of censure on a Minister of State. 812 says, a motion for the resolution referred to in Clause 1 of this article should not be moved in Parliament unless A, seven days' notice has been given of the motion, and B, the notice for the motion has been signed by not less than one-third of all members of Parliament. Article 823 says, the motion shall be debated in Parliament within 14 days after the receipt by the Speaker for, of notice for the motion. 84 says, a Minister of State in respect of whom a vote of censure is debated under clause 3 of this article is entitled during the debate to be heard in his defense. 825, where a vote of censure is combined against a minister under this article, the minister may, unless the, the, the president may, unless the minister resigns his office, revoke his appointment as a minister. So what is this thing that the constitution is saying in plain words? The combined effect of 82125 is simple. This is the process. The minority should be able to gather or garner at least 92 signatures, 92 signatures um, from the mem their members. They are, we know they are 137 now. 92 signatures. Garner that. Send a notice to the Speaker of Parliament. Within seven days, it's supposed to be made known to all members of Parliament. After that seven days expires, it's supposed to be debated on the floor of Parliament after 14 days. Now, during that debate, the Minister of Health or the Minister who is being um, someone before the House to answer to this vote of censure must have the opportunity to defend himself. After that, there will be a vote that is taken. Two-thirds of all MPs should vote in favor of that motion. In this case, we are talking about 183 or 184 members should vote that Kukwaji Mamenu is no longer fit to be Minister of Health. And then that decision will be taken and the President, acting on the resolution of Parliament, may remove the Minister for Health from office.